Is it rolling, Bob? YouTube, my TPC. Here I am in the woods again. <clears throat> North Central Massachusetts, USA. Mid-August 2020. I think the last time I was here was uh, May. Fighting off black flies. Here it is three months later and it's just a perfect midsummer, late summer day. Gentle breezes, warm sunshine, not too warm, t-shirt weather. No bugs. <laughs> I think I heard one or two mosquitoes today. Playing hooky. It's Thursday. Make my own schedule. I can arrange to come almost any time if I work at it. Plan for it. Thursdays are usually good though. Smoking my Rogers Rarity. I was a little blown away last week or this past week. One of these came up on eBay. Very, very similar to this. And I think it went for $152. I paid. Uh, about 10% of that for this one. <laughs> I guess I got lucky. Even at that price, I'm not tempted to sell it. Kind of like it. It's a good pipe for the field, for the woods. Smoking. My McBaron's Golden Extra. Burley and uh, Virginia. Aged. Interesting, this uh, tin was packed apparently November 2016, so it's almost four years old already, and I just bought it a few months ago. So it already has some pretty good age on it when I got it. I don't know if that's normal for that particular blend or if I just got lucky. I did take about half the tin and put it in a jar. Try to see if it gets any better with age, but I really like it now of, of the half dozen or so tobaccos I've tried in the last six months. This is certainly in, a, in my top three, if not my favorite. Some of that may have to do with the fact that this blend, as I said before, is one that I smoked 40 years ago. Something like that. It does bring back some memories. The, 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 the taste rings bells somewhere in the recesses of my brain. I wanted to talk today about journaling. One thing I do when I come here in the woods is I have a notebook and at some point, either at lunchtime or a little while before I leave to head home, I'll sit down and take some notes just, just about the day, whether, uh, you know, the weather, what time I left, what time I got here. what I did, what I observed, what kind of wildlife. Of 
whatever comes to mind. In this particular book, it's uh, pretty much stuff related to being in the woods here and recording my day and making a list of things I want to do for next time. Things I need to do to get ready or just to remind myself what would, might be on the agenda when I come back again. I never know exactly when it's going to be. Although I do hope to do one more overnight sometime late summer or in the fall. But I found it's very useful. I go back and mainly I go back and look <laughs> to see what I'm supposed to do next time I come and what I what I need to bring. Like this time I know I wanted to cut up some more logs to uh, bring some firewood home. I don't bring a lot, but I can get some good quality oak and, and beech here that I don't usually get around home. So I bring a little token amount home when I go back. A 90 mile trip, so I don't <laughs> really feel justified in hauling a whole lot of wood back and forth, but uh, I like to bring some. So, in the middle of the winter, when I'm burning some logs, I can look at them and remember where I was when I cut them and think about this place. Another thing I've been doing for the past I don't know, six months or so is something called morning pages. You can Google that or uh, search for it on YouTube. Uh, it was developed by an artist some time ago. I may have mentioned this before, but it's worth repeating, I think. The idea is to sit down first thing in the morning maybe after you've brewed your first uh, cup of tea or coffee, in my case it's coffee, and uh, write two or three pages, supposedly longhand, that's what I do. About whatever is on your mind at that, at that moment. You could think about the day before, what kind of night you had, what you plan to do that day, about relationships, about the state of the world. Um, try not to dwell on that too much these days. It takes me about half an hour, more or less, depending on how quickly I write and how clearly I understand what it is I want to say that day. Sometimes I have to pause and wait for something to come to mind. But the idea is to sit down and, and do those pages every day, even if you don't have anything on your mind, so you think at first. More often than not, something comes along that you want to record. And uh, seems a little odd, but you're not supposed to go back and read them. In fact, I haven't really. I, someday I may. I want to go back to a particular time or place and see what I was thinking about at that time. But the idea is just to clear your mind, get things written down, develop your thoughts. And uh, I find that it's, I look forward to doing it. You have to do it where it's quiet, you're alone, no distractions at all, no TV, no radio. No kids running around, nothing, just quiet. So in my case, for better or worse, I've been getting up quite early lately. So at that hour, four, five, six in the morning, I've got the house to myself. It's easy to do. And, um, you know, I'm not a person of high discipline, <laughs> so the fact that I've been doing this for months, almost without fail, says something. 
because I've been really sticking to it. And I don't stick to a lot of things very well. But uh, a little moisture in there. have to uh, relight this after I stop yammering here. There we go. Anyway, if you're uh, an introspective type or you find you're going day to day with a certain level of unease that you don't know where it's coming from or what was bugging you, might want to give it a shot. Uh, look it up on YouTube, Morning Pages. I'm blanking on the artist's name, a, a woman who maybe as much as 10 years ago, eight years ago, made a video about this. I stumbled on it. It sort of resonated and I gave it a shot and I, uh, I like doing it. A lot of, lot of videos out there about about journaling these days, but this is a particular type of journaling that seems to work for me, and uh, you might want to try it. With that, I wish you all well. Turn off the camera and finish smoking this pipe. Take care.